Hi, I'm Jamie Velasquez, and although I find a lot of digital tools very beneficial for teachers, there is one in particular I would like to talk about that middle school teachers love. It's originality reports within Google Slides. Check it out. Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use originality reports with Google Slides. So an originality report is used within Google Docs, and it helps teachers um, find plagiarism within student work. So what it does is when you're in Google Classroom and you run an originality report, what that does is it creates a comparison to the student's work to billions of web pages and millions of books. It also will flag um, links that are not detected on there. So anything that's from a web page that wasn't cited will be detected. So you're able to see for plagiarism. And that was mainly for Google Docs. Google's new update now allows for Google Slides to be run in the originality report for plagiarism, which is great when students are doing projects and you want to make sure they're citing things properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use that originality report within Google Slides. So you have to be on your Google Classroom to create an assignment, and that's what I'm going to do. You can name the assignment anything you want. I'm just going to name it Google Slides. And again, it could be something right after a bigger unit or whatever you might be to showcase their work, but you want them to create a Google Slide presentation for you. Now you have a few choices. Students can upload their Google Slide presentation to you, or you can provide them a doc themselves. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna provide a slides them for them. I'm gonna get that ready to go. And what you'll notice is, I'm gonna make a copy for each student. And I wanna draw your attention right down here to the check plagiarism originality. And I wanna make sure that is checked. Because once that is checked, that tells the students on their end that I'm gonna be looking for plagiarism and anything that's not cited properly and just copy and paste it from a website or a book. And then I'm going to hit assign. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you on the student's end what they will see. So now I'm on a student account on their Google Classroom and the assignment that I gave is right here. And I'm going to click it and I'm gonna click view assignment. Now what you'll notice is that the originality report option has been popped up here and it tells the student that they can actually run their own report to make sure that they are not plagiarizing anything before turning it in. But it does also let them know that the teacher is going to do it as well. So I'm just going to pretend that I'm doing a project for that and I'm just going to copy and paste um, something into the Google Slides presentation. So I'm gonna change the layout, I'm going to just hit it blank, and then I'm gonna hit paste. And this was from, this is a summary from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe that I got right from a site. And I'm just going to pretend it's my own, and I am going to simply turn that into my teacher. And so now that I've turned it in, the teacher can now use the originality report from their end. So now back onto the teacher's side of this, if I was to click back onto that assignment, then click on where the student has turned it in and view their Google Slides, I'm able to see on the right-hand side here that the originality report has flagged a passage, and I can click on that to get a little bit more detail. Once I do that, it highlights the area that's suspicious. It also will tell me what web matches have found that. So if you notice that it wasn't from certain websites, but it's from Sparknotes. And if I was to click that, I'm able to see the student's passage and how it matches the web page um, and, and see all that. So I noticed that the student maybe just copied and pasted this and didn't use it as a direct quote and cite it or try to pass this off as their own. So again, this kind of just helps you um, with, with students and plagiarism in your class. You can show them this as a lesson, how this can happen and how you'll be checking for plagiarism and shows that you know they, once they have something from a website that they need to either paraphrase it and cite or they need to direct quote it and cite it as well. So again, this was already available on Google Docs, but now it's available for you on Google Slides. So I hope this helps you learn how to use originality reports in Google Slides with your students.